गुड आफ्टरनून वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून या से दिस आर द थ्री इक्वेशंस व्हाट वी हैव फॉर्मूलेटेड यस्टरडे इक्वेशन 1 इक्वेशन 2 एंड इक्वेशन 3 and all these equations are simplified with regard to their x and y values we call them as x1 and x2 okay if you say equation 1 considering x1 as 0 x2 becomes uh, 120 and if you say that is uh, number 1 and if you take uh, if you take x2 as 0 uh, uh, x1 becomes 40 that is for equation 1 and now it's mentioned in your uh, slide please go through that and you need to copy this also and for equation 2 if you say x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 160 x1 is equal to 0 on the x2 becomes uh, 80 that is 160 by 2 and when x2 is equal to 0 x1 becomes 160 okay we have just named it as uh, we need to have uh, no proper names for the coordinates we call these uh, these these are the coordinates x y coordinates we call them as technically okay okay we call them as x comma y coordinates we call them as x comma y coordinates and when you go for the last equation here we have only one variable x1 is equal to 35 automatically x2 becomes zero there is no way of becoming x1 zero because it is not possible in this case and therefore uh, the point e here x2 is zero and x1 is equal to 35 and therefore we have these uh, you know summary of equation simplifications equation 1 is simplified equation 2 is simplified equation 3 is simplified rather we can say that equation 1 2 and 3 are represented in the form of their respective graphical coordinates okay rather we can say equation 1 comma 2 comma 3 are translated into their respective graphical coordinates of the forum x comma y okay you write down this okay they are converted okay please all of you copy equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 okay below that simplification write uh, point a point b point c point d and then point e you have to read it upward down uh, no upward down okay a 0120 b 40 c 080 d 160 e 350 you have to read it like this point a okay point a okay i have to read it as 0 120 Point B, it is forty uh, comma zero. Point C, it is zero comma eighty. Point D, it is one sixty. zero point e 
35, 0. This how we have to address it. Yeah. Any questions? Sir. Yeah. Can you please uh, explain again the steps of the for the equations? Like how we should calculate. Okay. It is done yesterday. Uh, you consider equation one. Hello, Abdullah. Yes, sir. You, you consider equation one. There, you put x1 is equal to zero. Okay. Okay, sir. Then automatically x2 becomes 120. right yes sir yeah after that uh, in the same equation one put x2 is equal to zero okay if x2 is equal to zero in equation one we get 3x1 is equal to 120 and if 3x1 is equal to 120 and x1 is equal to 120 divided by 3 that is equal to 40 Got it? Yes, sir. Similarly, for the rest of the two equations, two and three. Followed? Followed? Abdullah, you got it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, I got it. OK. Yes. Now, all of you are ready with your graph sheets? All of you are ready with your graph sheets? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, note down uh, A, B, C, D, and E. Is to be either slide or the lab or All of you have copied this. Copy the slide. Yes, sir. Now take the graph sheet. Okay, this is how it looks like. Now first you need to draw a straight line for A, B. What is A? And I uh, see, look at that scale. I've taken one centimeter is equal to 20 units. I'll just put it into the full screen. Okay, one centimeter is equal to 20 units. What is A comma B? What is A? A is 0, 120. If you say A is 0, 120, X is 0, and your Y is 120. 120 means exactly 6 centimeters. You have to go up and there you have to mark it as A. You got it? Hello? Point A is marked. Check point A. Take your graph sheet. Mark x axis, y axis. X axis is called as x1. Y axis is x2. Mark uh, x axis. That is called x1 there. Mark Y axis. That is equal to X2. Please mark it. The graph is visible to you all. Hello? All of you can see? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now mark A, mark B, join A, B.
point A and point B. And if you say B, here we have B as 40, 0. B here is 40, 0. Okay, Y is 0, X is 40. And exactly 2 centimeters, you can map, put point B and draw a straight line by using a scale, connect A and B, join A and B. Join A, B. Have you done it? Hello? Yes sir. yes, sir. Yeah. Next, go for C and D. What is C? C is 0, 80. X is 0 and Y is 80. 80 means you have to go 4 centimeters upward. Exactly 4 centimeters upward. Mark it as C. You can just check. Do it legibly. How the Hello. sharp? Hello. Any doubt? Sir, D column now. Why the consider more better? Yeah. Mena? Equation 2 li, x10 160 there. So D column na D column man tell bandi then in game. D column man na nen elta na elvala. X axis is x1 and y axis is x2. D column man ta nen elu 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 elvala. Yen are Tamar Kondiani no, not in the Kogun and comments only. Hello, you have to consider x axis as x1, y axis as x2. D column mantan and yellow helila. C na tagondra. C mark my dia iga kishan. Kishan? Yes, sir. Sir, mate A, B. Mark yeah. Madi yeah. graph. Mm. X column zero there. Y column one twenty there. Mm. Mm. Units. Ah, one twenty and then and twenty centimeters, twenty units to one One centimeter is called twenty and the scale to one dini. Six to one dini. Six twenty, six to twenty is one twenty and the fifth fourth line I took Sarah. Not correct account on nodally. A point A, point B. A B LR join money there. Yes, sir. Yeah, similarly, go for C D. C and D. What is C D? What is C? First go for C. One by one you have to 80. check. Zero and eighty. Correct? X is 0 and Y is 80, correct? X1 is 0 yes. and X2 is Y 80. Alva, right? Hello? Yes, sir. X1 is 0 and X2 is 80. We have taken X2 as Y. Okay, it is mentioned here. And 0 and 80 and then it have to go, okay, 4 centimeter up in Y axis. Along Y axis, count 4 centimeters and mark it as C. Got it? Hello? Yes, Got sir. It? Yes, yeah. sir. Similarly, now go for D. D is X1 is 160. X2 is equal to 0. Along X axis, count 8 centimeters. Measure 8 centimeters. And there you put it as D. That is 160, 0. And uh, as X2 is 0, the point will not move up only along x axis you will get understood 
Got it? Yes, sir. Any questions? So, connect join CD. Join CD. Hello. Have you joined C and D? Yes, sir. All of you have joined? Yes, sir. Anybody still doing uh, working on A, B, and C, D? No, sir. Yeah. Now come to this last one, E. What is this E says? 35 0. There is no other point to have a inclined line. Okay, it goes just vertically up. E, 35, 0. Just there, C, 20. And then in between uh, 10, if you say 30, and you measure 35. Okay, exactly. And there, okay, you mark it as E and draw a vertically straight line, vertically upward. Draw E, draw vertically upward line. E. Straight line. Have you drawn this? Hello. Have you completed all um, the graphic? Sir, writing, Hello. sir. Hello, hello. Ah, what is the what is your question? Sir, the, sir. Ah, sir, the four coordinates that is A, B, C, D should intersect at one point. It is compulsory, Allah, sir. Avagle, it is correct, and At one point, and then in a yellow cut intersect, Agi Agatha. Okay, okay, without intersection, also, there is a possibility as a rare case, though. Without intersection, also there is a possibility we can also have some such problems. But Yiga the a special case. Yiga nodi on the intersections the elva. The three lines are intersecting, right? Yes, sir. Do you notice the intersecting of certain some lines at certain points? Yes, sir. Okay, see there, there are some intersections. Now, don't bother about the inter intersections now for the time being. Sanjan, uh, please uh, mute your... Uh, do. Don't bother about the intersections now for the time being. Okay, just hold on. Now, just go back and check about the constraints. LPP Nali, there is something called as feasible area anta. Feasible area anna dike, any definition kodaba anta andre. The area which satisfies all the constraints. A bounded area. Which satisfies.
all the constraints which satisfies all the constraints and the now okay go to your first equation what it says less than or equal to right what your first equation says hello first equation says 3x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 120 second equation says x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 160 x1 says less than or equal to 35 please observe this carefully there are we all are less than constraints all are less than or equal to constraints we noticed it hello please respond yes, all the three are less than constraints agreed yes sir yes sir yeah now okay come to the graph come to the graph ab represents equation 1 right line ab yes sir line ab that is equation 1 right next line cd represents equation 2 right line e it on the infinitely extending line anta karithivi that is no finiteness okay it just goes upward line e okay we don't have other coordinate that represents uh, okay equation 3 agreed yes or no yes sir yes sir now equation 1 less than antandre you should consider down the area towards the corner graphically yavaglu left side baradella less than area ant tagotivi okay if you say right side that goes as uh, okay increasing or uh, more than area less than area means okay down the line right hello yes sir ab down the line see where it comes ab down the line now similarly cd down the line similarly cd down the line next e down the line e is a vertical line okay e vertical line less than area antandre towards its left less than area for line e is towards its left towards its left side got the logic hello yes sir where exactly all these uh, down the areas uh, commonly meet where does 
less than areas commonly intersect or commonly meet that is what is called as the area cmne cmne understood this is called as feasible area you please shade it by using your favorite color maybe green maybe red maybe black maybe yellow maybe purple maybe whatever color that you like you please shade it okay by using your crayons i said it uh, already yesterday you should have all these three things you should have color pencils you should have uh, one uh, ordinary pencil scale pencil eraser all things i say these are all the things you should possess anta helidini last class alle okay now you shade this area c m n e o shade it quickly you shade it quickly and uh, okay share the image sir. hello sir ha ah. D one eighty right line C D eighty one eighty right one sixty sorry one sixty ah one yes yes right okay so right okay now you have to shade it C M N E you have to shade it Rakshita send it I don't know whether she has shaded it or not please uh, shade a C M N E C M N E O. Share it. Share it by using uh, okay a sketch pen or a color pen or a color uh, pencil. Share it. Please share uh, this common area. shade the common area c m n e share it and uh, okay share the image in the group share the graph Shashwini, okay, very good. This is how exactly you have to do. Hello, Shashwini, you are listening? Yes, sir. Hello. You have shared it, but very irresponsibly you have shared it. why the shading is also going to the triangle area you have to shade it neatly only c m n e portion should be shaded are you getting it why there are some projections going to your triangle area got my point hello ashashwini Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you have done a um, that is uh, that is a mistake actually. Okay, you are going to lose the marks because of not shading it properly. Okay, see, shade it and re resend it, erase it, and shade it again. Yeah, this is how exactly it should be. This is how exactly it should be. 
Yes, Aman, uh, right? I've done it. Yeah, you should have used a graph sheet. Let me check Mahmud's graph. Yeah, good. Very good. This is how exactly it should be. Okay, you should have used some color pencils. You can make it look attractive. Probably may not be having the crayon uh, pencils. That's okay. You can do uh, by using this pencil also. That's fine. But okay, you can uh, make it. Uh, bit attractive to the graph. Okay, anybody else? Hello. Abdullah, have you done it? Pradeepta, okay. Sir. Ah. M mark part of the network problem with one second. Kishana Yamma Yam mark intersecting point of the CD line Elitivala CD line Elitia. CD line Eldaga, Maddal intersect Agron, AB Matha CD, Maddal intersect Agatala, Katagatala. Okay. Other Yamu. Ella problem going in, sir. AB Matha CD point intersect Aga, the Manta Tobaka. No, 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 no. Idala Nimuk bit to the Adbekar Tagori. Sir, is it right? Abdullah. Why you are doing it extra? Why you are shading the triangle part also? Sir, it was by mistake, sir. Yeah, triangle, I take uh, one hour um, uh, other special class and I tell you how that uh, okay triangle can be taken as a feasible area. One small change, man, the problem only. If you create a small change in the constraints, Okay, you can have uh, the triangle as uh, your feasible area. Any bekagilla change AB first equation as more than or equal to one man betray. Okay, you will get that as a feasible area. Okay, delete that triangle shaded area. Yes, right. Very good. This is how exactly you have to do, Samson. Fine. CMNE. Yeah. How many of you did it now? Aman, where is your graph? Dharnesh, where is your graph? Sumne Kala Kalkola ke Barbadi. Krutik, what about your graph? Jayant, Karan, Karan, you are there. Manjesh, I have 29 people in the list. I need 29 graphs in the chat box. Quick, one by one. Abhinandan, where is your graph man? 
अमान अभिनंदन धर्नेश हर्ष हृतिक जयंत करण हेलो I want the graphs. Sir, I've already sent the graphs. Yeah, bro, Aman, na? Yes. Okay, I'll I'll check it. I'll check it, Aman. One second. Okay, good, Aman. Right. Okay. Did not check it. Okay, yeah, you yeah, you are the first one. Right. Thank you. And. Tumma jana share maanila. Hrithi Kumar Naidu. What is what about your graph? Hello. What about your graph? The Twig Bharadwaj. Graph. Graph. Agi thera mani thera kalsa. Sanjan. What? Where is your graph, man? You said you cannot share it. You are using laptop. Shreya. send the graph now after this uh, okay we have to identify the respective coordinates can anybody tell me what is the coordinate value of m what is the value of m there x and y coordinate okay 16 comma 72 sir 16 comma 16 comma 72 is right perfect right yes sir okay and similarly and uh, n what is n here 35 comma 15 35 comma 15 okay next c m n what is e we already know about e what is e 35 comma e is 35 yes c m n e now excuse excuse me sir yes sir could you explain m and n again sir how 16 and uh, 15 arrive say r m in the hello samson heli heli sir heli sir point m in the correct agi down side one vertical line elko horizontal inda one line elko so that it cuts your x axis and y axis dotted line elko m okay, in the scale it kondo down side one dotted line heli straight agi adhe tara horizontal agi one line heli एक्स आक्सिस मीट आगते नो वै आक्सिस मीट आगते नो पॉइंट एम ऐ फस्ट बर एक्स आम बर वै ड्रा मोदी बंद अब स्वल्प स्केल वेरियशन आगबूटी 18 and 70 okay small variation is fine no problem take that yeah what is n you know how to calculate n n also same thing draw uh, no already vertical line is there draw one line horizontal it goes so that it meets your y axis and there you get 35 15 what is your value of n hello Hello. Sir, thirty-five मतलब eighteen to nineteen आता राष्ट्रीय वेरिएशन बढ़ता है जैसे. Thirty-five मा eighteen nineteen और गड़े बढ़ती दिया. आई तो तो को आदमी तो को नहीं गेन मतलब ना वैल्यू तो कॉस्ट है. Sorry. Rakshita, what about your values? So I got seventeen and seventy-two, sir. Okay, for M ma. Yes, sir. Okay, for N. For N. Sir, thirty-seven. 
ಇನ್ಆಕ್ಯುರೇಸಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ನಾವು ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ಆಕ್ಯುರೇಸಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದಾಗ ಲೈನ್ ಒಂದ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ವೈರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆ ಕಡೆ ಆತರ ಆಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫೈನ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವರೀಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವರೀಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ಓಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಆರ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಅಂತ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಓಕೆ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ conclusion table all of you write down this don't rely upon my values okay nanu graph alli laptop alli en nanage adu gothagutha values hakkondidini these values are going to be changed now according to okay your real values on the graph sheet okay conclusion table you take is take it and uh, write it as cardinal points Z minimum is equal to 7x1 plus 6x2. Now, C, there is no change here. M and N, there will be some variations. Okay, whatever the values that you get for M and N, you write it. And E as it is 35, 0. Following? Hello? right following yes or no yes sir yeah take your m and n values okay as per your graph as per your reading sir as, hello yeah sir if we to- solve the two equations Mm. then we get the exact value no sir no people are not asking about solving the two equations they want uh, the things you plot in a graph sheet and then you get the answer this is ma- the whole method is called as graphical method okay sir you are talking about solving simultaneous linear equations right hello aman sir for, for, sir, for the points m and n sir ah if we solve two equations I, two I, 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 I get it you are right yes sir. you are talking about solving simultaneous yes, linear sir. equations yes sir. okay there are so many methods yes sir. but here we are not interested in that point okay sir people preferably say use graph okay sir okay yes sir. as per your reading right uh, m and n now there if you say z is equal to first it is x1 then it is x2 it is x1 first one second x1 first sir sir ah Tell me. Sorry, in the corner point, you write uh, C is equal 0.80. Ah. 80, it's okay. But 0, how you get the 0? <laughs> you, oh, one second, you go back to your first slide. See, okay. here, where is C? C, second equation, C there, C, 0, 80. Okay, green, okay. Green, okay, green okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, you simplify this. 
you tell me okay what about at point c what is the value at m what's the value at n what's the value at e what's the value my value because of this variations of m n and things like that may change you tell me your values C and E V E will not change, but M and N definitely will change. Simplification, simplify and then solve. Hello. First is four eighty, right? What is the value of M? Five fifty eight, sir. Five fifty eight, right? No change. And what is the value of N? Sir, I got three seventy seven. Three seventy-seven. Okay, I got three fifty. No problem. Yeah. What about that? What is that? Am I good? Seventy. Okay. I'm. I'm sixty-eight. Okay. Sixty-eight. Seventeen. Sixty. Okay. Okay. Sir, I got five. Sir, I got five eighty-eight for M, sir. Five eighty-eight. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Higher reading. Higher reading is there. No problem. Okay. And. Yeah. What about the? Don't worry. Need not bother. Don't worry at all. Okay, whatever the value that you get, that is perfectly right. Okay, for your x y coordinates, for your x y coordinates, that is perfectly right. Okay, we consider okay one or two such variations. Need not to worry about. Okay, now, okay, Rakshita is telling m is five forty six and n is three forty seven. Okay, see very minute variation. Now, if you look at this conclusion table, where is minimum? Two forty-five is minimum, right? Hello. Yes, sir. sir. Yeah. Now there, you copy the conclusion. The objective function z is equal to seven x one plus six x two is can be minimized at x is equal to thirty-five units and x two is equal to zero units. Write down the statement. We got the answer, sir. Ah, is there? And I got thirty-three point twenty. Is it okay, or I should? For which one? N N. Okay, you That's keep it there. Keep it. Keep it. Don't change. Whatever the reading okay. that you get, you keep it. Don't change. Okay, sir. Okay. It all depends on your scale and your reading, man. Okay, there could be one or two such variations. Okay, that is not a big issue. Don't worry about that. That is because of your approximations we are getting it. Okay, below that the objective function z is equal to can be maximized at x is equal to. Okay, see there at m it is maximum, at e it is minimum. We write these two. And uh, your x one and x two values you should write. I have written this as eighteen seventy two for m. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Any doubts? Therefore, z minimum is equal to two forty five units. Z maximum is equal to y according to me it is five fifty eight, and maybe according to you there could be a minute variations. You write that value. Approx. That's the reason why I have written this is approximately. This is to be on the safer side. You mentioned this approx.
Okay, got it? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the solution. You got the answer. This is how we have to apply this uh, you know, graphical method. Now, I am going to change the given problem to some extent. Yeah. All of you write down this problem. Copy this. Same problem. Z maximum or Z minimum. 7x1 plus 6x2 where x1, x2 are called as addition variables subject to conditions. Now here you change the first equation as 3x1 plus x2 more than or equal to 120. Now the same problem. You change first equation as change first equation as three x one plus x two more than or equal to zero. Sorry, more than or equal to 120. Instead of less than, you change it to more than. And rest of the two, you can retain as it is. Getting my point? Hello? Are you getting my point? I'm giving you one problem for homework. See how many of you can do it uh, with dedication and devotion and respect towards me. I want you to solve this. All the values remain same. Only the graph changes. Only the feasible area changes. Have you taken the three equations? Hello? Have you yes, taken sir. the three equations? Yes, yeah. Now you take the three equations and uh, you just work from the beginning and uh, your graph will be that particular triangle. No, Abdullah on the shade Madid Nalva, triangle portion. No, our area birthday. Okay. You can uh, name them as LMN. You find there, okay, what is your Z maximum, Z minimum? Solve it and send it to me, okay, through WhatsApp and uh, or you can mail it to me, okay, share it in the group, check the graph and solve it and get me the solution. How many of you can do that? All the values remain same, only the graph, only the feasible area changes. Agree with me? Hello? Agree with me. Sure, can you send the question? Because it's not uh, feasible here. It's not in the screen. Okay, it is there in the laptop, man. Uh, say first, first slide. Now you check it. It is there in the slide appearing. Whether the slide is visible or not? It's visible, sir. But okay, yeah. okay, okay. See there. Okay, everything remains as it is. No change. Only in this case of subjected to the conditions. Here you write 3x1 plus x2 instead of less than, you put more than symbol. 120. One, one sign is changing. One symbol is changing. The whole answer gets altered now. Getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, instead of less than, you put it more than. Solve it and send me the graph. All the calculations remain same. No change in your X and Y and other things. On the small constraint change, I get the complete feasible area change. I get the Rakshita, you're getting me. Samson, you're getting me. 
Sanjan, yes, Pranita, sir. yeah, you please do it, solve it, and send it to me by this evening. Let me check how many of you can do that. Okay, sir. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. It's time. Any any questions? Any questions? No, sir. Understood, understood completely. Got the concept of graphical method? Yes, sir. Okay. That's fine. Then uh, let me check how many of you can do this work. Okay. If not, uh, okay, we have to do it again tomorrow in the class. Okay. I'll make you to work. And let me at least exercise this. Practice this. Okay. Uh, identifying feasible area itself is a skill. You have you, you you one cannot teach that based on your constraints. Okay, you have to develop that skill of identifying feasible area. Analytically, you need to okay check the constraints whether all the constraints are same or not same. There is something called as homogeneous constraints, heterogeneous constraints. Mixed constraints like that. There are something like that. And uh, the problem now, what I have dictated to you, okay, changing that one symbol, okay, uh, that's about mixed constraints. LPP with mixed constraints. The title is called as LPP with mixed constraints. Because you have different constraints, some something is less and something in more, something is more, and like that you'll get it. Okay, fine. Shall I close it? Okay, sir.